Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. There was a lot of music that came through for this video. The last song that came out was I Stand Alone by Godsmack. Alright, let's start out with rocks. I'm going to these back. May I have rocks, please, that would go perfectly with this reading? Let's put this back in. Right. Let's mix them up good. We're going to take some green and stain rocks. Hope you're doing well today. Sounds like you're going to stand alone. You're going to do your own thing because the poison is not going to get inside of you. I hear you. <coughs> you don't let anyone poison you with their bullshit. Alright, we have passion, laugh, family, inspire, and friend. So you're dealing with family, friend, Passion, laugh, and inspire. So maybe you have family and friends that you inspire. And make them laugh with your passion. Alright, Spirit, let's see what kind of virtues you're working on in this collective today. Virtues for today, Spirit. Give us something good to get us through. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> what virtues are you working on here? Give us something good, Spirit, that'll help us get through today, or the weekend, or whatever. Today, most specifically. Virtues. Spirit's getting just the right virtues for us today. So that is virtues for today. There we go. <clears throat> gentleness again faith and integrity so spirit wants you to be gentle to have faith to have integrity and there's an opportunity to not have integrity somehow your faith is struggling and you're not going to give up same cards perseverance and then working on your money so maybe you're working on your money right now Let's see what I want to go with wisdom of the oracle today. And it looks like you're working on your money. So let's read the prosperity messages from this oracle. Unless um, I'm going to read something else, we're going to go with the prosperity messages. All right, message please from wisdom of the oracle. No, no place like home and thinker. So you're thinking about where you're going to live or where you are living. Regeneration and thinker. You're thinking about how you can regenerate, rebuild from nothing. You're in the ashes. You're poised in thinking. So you're in the perfect position for thinking about something. All right, Spirit, show me how you're working in this collector today. You're asking us to come to the edge, number 36. You want us to come to the edge and chop wood. So maybe you're coming to the edge of a new job. And you're going to work on this job. Let's see what come to the edge means very quickly number 36 number 36 is come to the edge number 36 courage Taking a leap of faith, overcoming fear, and accepting a risk. 
Facing the unknown is the only choice you really have right now if you want to progress. It's okay to be afraid. Now is the time to take a risk that is not calculated. To feel the exhilaration as you ready yourself to take a leap of faith. Spirit is present, so let go of fear. You are called to express your true self. Listen to your heart and soul, not your head. Come to the edge and discover that you can fly. You must step into the unfamiliar so that you may find your miracles. Now, <clears throat> it doesn't look like a relationship, but if it is a relationship, it's scary to be truly intimate with someone, to allow him or her to see all of you, especially the parts that you've kept hidden and protected. Now is the time to take a risk and let yourself be seen, truly seen. It's important that you speak up, voice what you need, state who you are, say what you hope for. This is not the time to play it safe, but to take a leap of faith. You will be glad you did if you're seeking a relationship. The same applies. Take one step toward the gods and they will take one step to wait. Take one step toward the gods and they will deliver what you truly desire. Now, if this is about your money, if ever there was a time for you to take a leap of faith into the unknown, it is now. This is the perfect moment to take a big risk. The unknown is the only choice now, and if you come to the edge, you will discover treasure beyond your wildest dreams. Allow your courage to lead you in spite of your fears. You don't need to know, ex know the exact form of what you're getting, going for. The essence is much more powerful, and spirit has a way of delivering an unknown version of prosperity than you could imagine. Take the step. The results will be amazing. So whether it's a relationship or money, it's time for you to take a leap of faith. It's time for you to let yourself be seen who you truly are. Don't hold anything back. Don't let your fears hold you back. And then chop wood. <laughs> Excuse me, number 42 says this. Being grounded in every experience and having humility. There's times when your big dream is meant to lie dormant in the consciousness so that you can pay attention to the simple chores in your life. Consider why pouring a tree... I'm sorry. Consider why pruning a tree is the forerunner of delighting in the beautiful blooms. When it is in full bloom, the mundane act of putting off dead leaves, watering the soil, I'm sorry, pulling off dead leaves, watering the soil, and then leaving it to be and let nature take its course is an important step in manifestation. Taking your attention away from your goal brings you into a state of receptivity. This is the deeper purpose for releasing attachment. When you engage in everyday tasks in a meditative, contemplative way, you clear your energy to receive aha moments which bring you ever closer to what you seek. If this is a relationship, nothing is as important right now as just doing what you need to do day to day. Let your heart remember that not everything has to be hard-won, passionate, or even obvious, meaningful. Relationships and friendships go through lulls when the everyday tasks are at the center of awareness. That is perfect now. Hold hands, wash dishes, make a fire, read a book, share a meal, say nothing, stare into space, <coughs> pick up socks, tell a dumb joke, and leave space, space to breathe. The work of your relationship right now is very simple, just to be present. Funny how it takes work to just be, as all is well, really. So right now, you're having to take some kind of risk to just be. So maybe you've left a relationship and now you're just going to be. You could have ended a third-party relationship. It could have been a job, another person. It could have been something that you were overindulging in. Whatever it was, 
It's causing you to learn to be gentle, to have faith, to have integrity, to persevere, and to focus on your money. So you're being asked to take a risk and to just do those mundane tasks that we all have to do. And that's part of fulfilling your dream. It just doesn't feel like it. But when you do those mundane tasks, it draws that dream to you. Okay? <clears throat> All right, so let's see how this happened. Because it does look like there was some kind of separation somehow. Not for you and fighting it. So there was something that was not for you. And maybe you were fighting letting go of it. And you finally let go of it. All right. Unfazed and not for you. So it wasn't for you. And when you lost it or left it, you just didn't, you weren't really phased by it. Because this person or these people didn't have your best interest at heart. You're worried. Maybe you're worried because somebody else was on phase and you let them go. Or they acted that way. Show me how this happened, please. How did this happen? There was a love triangle. Divinely guided is here to stop fighting it. So you were in a love triangle, and Spirit said, stop fighting this. Somebody's been stalking, and they're alone, okay? So maybe you're stalking the other two people in your love triangle, but you've been divinely guided to just leave it alone, all right? What's being hidden? That you're letting them go. There's a divine union. You feel a little desperate. Silent moves is here one last chance, but in reverse. So secretly you're letting go of this. It could be a divine union, or you, you might be letting go of this because you want to have a divine union, and you're desperate to have it. And you're trying to make some silent moves that will give you one last chance, but you're doing it subconsciously, like deep inside of yourself. All right, what's being shown? That you're dating. Alright. And what's going to happen next? Or that they're dating. You're, this person's going to be all in your head. You've lost hope. Because they're not for you. And now you're worried. Alright. What's going to be the outcome of being worried? You're going to trust the plan and move on. So you were with somebody else that was with somebody else. Bonus card. Is the grass greener? Is the grass greener? And I don't want a commitment here. I don't want a commitment with this person. This person doesn't care about me. If they cared about me, they wouldn't be with somebody else. They knew I wanted to be with them. All right, show me more about how this happened. A mature man. What about the mature man, Spirit? He keeps showing up. There's a man that's older. Or he's more mature. He's grown up. Why is the mature man here for how this happened? He might have been one of the ones in the love triangle. Because of having expectations of getting a message from this mature man. Alright. What were you expecting this message to say? What were your expectations about the message? How are you? We haven't talked in forever. So you were hoping that this person would miss you and that they would message you. What would they say? Why don't you ever respond to my text in a reasonable time? And I don't want a relationship. With, I just fell asleep on the phone. So this person is not into you. It doesn't look like, or you're not into them. But you, somebody was expecting a message. All right, what's being hidden? <clears throat> that somebody's dating. Remember dating? And what's being shown? So one of you is dating someone else, but waiting to hear back from this person in the love triangle. That there's an official person. So maybe they're dating. They are dating their official person. They're married to them or whatever. What's going to happen next? Somebody's going to get um, 
they're not going to have much honor, dishonor. Why are they going to be dishonored? I just feel like they're not good enough. They're not going to give themselves much honor, their self-esteem. Because of something in the distant horizon. Clarify the distant horizon and dishonor. It's about not getting married, a wealthy man, and a privileged lady. So maybe you were hoping to marry this person, but it's not going to happen. They're a wealthy man. And this is not going to change either. So it's time to move on from this situation. Have integrity. You know, just... To have integrity in a situation like this means that you move on. You don't keep dwelling on it. Don't give up. Have faith. And be gentle. Work on your money. Uh, what's going on here, Spirit? How did this happen? Somebody was rejected. And what's being hidden? So you got rejected, you lost something, and you feel like you're all to pieces about it. Communication, chemistry, regret, and toxicity. Alright, what's being shown? That it, your, your spirit guides are helping you to have a rebirth and to get stable. Outcome of helping you get stable. You're going to stop being tempted when it comes to your gifts, abundance, and celebrating. Alright, outcome of that, you're going to have faith, a divine intervention. What's that going to look like? Somebody being cold and detached and not having any expectations on their worth. Alright, so you're going to detach from this. And what's going to happen next? Or they are. You're going to have a spark. You're going to control yourself. You're going to trust in divine timing. And you're going to love yourself. Set intentions and start creating. You're, there, you're going to put some distance between you and this person. Which is exactly what I suggest. Anybody new for how this happened? There's tension. You're tired. You're exhausted of the tension. What's being hidden? Divine feminine is here. Chemistry is here. And unspoken is here in reverse. So you haven't told anybody how much chemistry you have. What's being shown that you're having to say goodbye so you can get established? What's going to be the outcome of that? You're going to have intimacy, loyalty, and you're, con you're pretending that you're not shattered. What's going to happen next? Good for you. Don't let them see you sweat. Somebody's going to be tricky. Clarify dishonesty. There's going to be a confession about this is happening before karmic lessons. What happened before? Somebody got sidetracked. You were clashing with them. And you had an epiphany that it was time to start something new. What's the new going to look like? It's going to look like being conflicted when it comes to rejection. So now that you've been rejected by this person, you feel like you're going to be rejected by everybody. But you're going to stop clinging to this relationship. Alright, let's pull some tarot here. Show me tarot on the person who got rejected. Hope came out in reverse with temperance. You could be a Sagittarius or an Aphuicus. Alright, uh, show me the energy of the person who did the rejecting. The star is here, the sun is here, and the emperor is here. Wow. And not using your intuition on the bottom of the deck. Alright, so show me please why there's no hope for the person who got rejected. The Nine of Swords is here. There's cards turned over in this deck. Hmm. 
a lot of them. A little bit of confusion here. We have the end. It's been a nightmare and this ended. Why is there no hope for this person that got rejected? What happened here? Why, why did they get rejected? Why is there no hope? Because of rejection. Why is temperance here? Because of a date? <clears throat> and this being over. So, somebody took you out on a date and told you it was over. So, it's over. Alright, why is the star here? Because somebody is confused about how to clean this mess up. Why is the sun here? So they're hoping that they can clean this mess up, but they're confused because somebody walked away from what no longer serves them. What did they walk away from? They broke up with somebody from because they learned their lessons. And why is the emperor here? Because of the emperor and wanting to be happy. Why is the high priestess here? Because they got hurt, or they hurt somebody. Clarify being hurt, ripped apart. Ooh, there was an injustice, a weakness, from T, an internal conflict, and the Seven of Swords. So they did something deceptive, and now the Knight of Cups is on the bottom of the deck. So they're wanting to show love. Maybe to this person they rejected. Let's see what the gossip is. the gossip here may I see please a twist of fate being alone the answer is no I want to be isolated and alone in separation so the twist of fate was that they broke up with you what's the rest of the gossip they were intoxicated they had a secret that they were hiding and they were detached. So I think they were already with somebody else and trying to show you love. And they were just broke up with that person maybe. And while they were broke up with them, they met you, they hooked up with you, and now they <clears throat> are back with their other person. Outcome of all of this. There's been a love affair. Somebody wants revenge. They're a secret admirer and they're dominant and manipulative. And it has to do with a perfect pair, the other half of your soul. So maybe you hooked up with somebody who was a twin flame and you didn't know that until after the fact. <laughs> Alright, talk to me about the person being rejected. What's the gossip about the person being rejected? They made bad choices and they've been sick. Alright, what about the person that did the rejecting? This is a love story once upon a time. They've been keeping you a secret. They're tired of it and over it. They have fake friends or they are a fake friend. Somebody's old and outdated and somebody's spoiled. What's going to be the outcome here? The sex shop came out. What else? Somebody's going to argue and put somebody in their place because of a copycat. Clarify what you mean by that. Shit's about to explode and go up, or it did explode. There was a big fight here that became a nightmare and somebody made a fake apology. What was the truth about the fake apology? They wanted to fight for what they love. What's going to be the outcome of the love they're fighting for? They're busy. They need anger management. They're money hungry. They got caught cheating and now they're writing it out. And somebody doesn't want to hear it. Even though there's evidence of cheating and they're manipulative. Okay, so I see what's going on here. You got with the wrong person. And that they were, I think, separated at the time, but then they stayed with the person that they were separated from instead of just, um, being with you. This was terribly hurtful to you, it was upsetting to you. They probably made you feel very special. Um, but had no intentions of being with you because this other person was still in their energy and a big part of their life. They probably lived with them. It's not easy to walk away from a marriage if you live with somebody. <clears throat> but while the cat's away, the mouse will play. 
And this person was probably on some kind of trip when this happened. They probably weren't even around. And so you had no way of knowing that they had somebody else. You may have suspected, but you weren't sure. Or they may have told you that they had somebody else, but it was over. And you believed them. You fell for them. And now they're not talking to you. Isn't that sad when that happens? Because it's just wrong. I'm tired of it, too. You're tired of it. Or somebody told you they were tired of all the fighting. That could have been how it played out. What's going on between the person that they broke it off with to have an affair? It's your choice, but it's not the right time. What do you mean it's not the right time? Somebody's not going to change when it comes to a competition and being controlling. What should the person they cheated with do? You have a dying love that you want to reconcile with. So what do they do about that? You're going to get away. Try to forgive this person because you were clueless. You've been overthinking. You feel like there's no way out. But this person is truly a player. They were playing with your feelings. And they're not going first. They're not moving. They're not going to do anything because they're in a relationship with somebody. Let's see if we can find out why they're in this relationship. I think it might be for money and convenience. Because if you're with somebody because you truly love them, you don't cheat on them. That's just truth. I'm sorry if you don't agree with that. It's the truth. You don't cheat. If you love somebody. Now it sounds like you were having some problems in the relationship. And you felt trapped. And maybe even wanted out. But couldn't figure out how to get out. And so you had an affair. And then the person you had the affair with fell for you. And now you don't want anything to do with them anymore. And they would like to be with you. Let me just clean up some of this mess. What a mess. What a true mess. Alright, we're going to look at this from a different perspective. Just let me get clean, clean up some of this energy that I have here. Uh, what you're not using to intuition about is somebody wants to show you love. So we're going to look at that. There is somebody who has their eye on you to show you love. Whether it's this person or somebody else. They've been working on, it looks like, trying to get out of this relationship for a while now. But apparently they have a lot invested here. They could have children. They could be married. It looks like somebody's struggling to get their stability. <coughs> and I don't see that they're helping you with that in any way. Your spirit guides are. So that's good. That's more, that's more help than you could ever get from this other person. Because they are tricky. And they're going to continue to be tricky is what it looks like. So be careful, because they might try to trick you again by saying, Oh, I'm so sick of the fighting. The grass isn't greener over there. What am I going to do? You're going to get on with your life, because I'm going to get on with mine, and I'm not going to allow you to treat me this way. I deserve much better than this. Much better. You do, too. You deserve so much better than this. Alright, I have a new deck of cards that I want to use. And this deck of cards is a tarot deck. But it's not a normal tarot deck. It's about how when you're in a dark time in your life, how can you get out of that dark time? So, we may have to read some of the meanings because I've never used it before. But it's supposed to be very helpful removing yourself from 
times like this where you're stuck in a relationship with somebody who pretended to love you, was with somebody else, and, and now you're in a dark time. How do you get out of that dark time? All right, so the name of this deck is MJ Colonnade. And they did the, the um, tarot called The Crow, I believe. And this is called Guardian of the Night Tarot. And it has animals on it. Let's see how this happened. The Five of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. And it looks like you're trying to rebuild your life. And maybe fighting your friends or family or fighting with somebody, maybe fighting your own feelings about this relationship. Very new cards I have. The Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is about looking for the perfect opportunity to rebuild your life. So somebody's looking for the perfect opportunity to rebuild their life. Show us how this happened. The Knight of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. So something in there and you have to rebuild your life. You could have been living with these friends when this happened. And you may not have done anything, but this person was just jealous. Alright, show me please how this happened. One good strong answer please about how this happened. There we go. I'm taking that one. Temperance came out. <clears throat> temperance. With the Two of Swords. So let's see what Temperance means in this deck. Number 14. Because like I said, it's a little different. Temperance brings a gentle flow of energy to a situation. Creating space for energies to come together and combine without friction solar plexus. When in temperance, you can understand the many sides of a problem without feeling dragged down or overwhelmed. Temperance is a space of complete and total control over your emotions and actions. You may have an overflowing to-do list and new tasks added daily, with a myriad of personalities and egos bombarding you and challenging your sanity. Coming at you from the left, right situations are demanding your attention, and yet somehow you have managed to stay on top of it all and unfazed. You are taking it all in stride, not letting things slip by or go unfinished. You are checking off your to-do list and getting things done while staying in a cool and uh, staying cool as a cucumber. When this energy is persistent. You will find enjoying that golden space of harmony where work and leisure blend together in effortless perfection. It is all about moderation and striking a balance of feeling connected and in control of your emotions. If you have been dealing with a difficult or emotional situation, temperance may arrive as a warning to indicate that a move to the middle away from the extreme or rigid position will prove beneficial. You may need to consider if you are too emotionally invested. If there is a legal matter at hand, a negotiation where common ground is established will benefit both parties. Depending on the situation and the position where temperance sits, you may hold the power to assist a situation by taking on the mediator's role. Your unique perspective and insight will help bring two parties together to reach an amicable outcome. The frog embodies the energy of temperance as it balances its life and now at, and in and out of water. Growth, balance, prosperity, transformation, and good fortune. So this happened, I think, because you were mediating between two friends, maybe a family member and a friend who were struggling, and maybe somebody who was in denial about their part in this. What was being hidden? The Nine of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. This is a Sagittarius vibe. 
So somebody had a lot of anxiety about Queen of Pentacles, this person that was mediating. Somebody couldn't sleep at night. They may have been up at night talking to you about their problems. What were they in this Nine of Swords energy about? Secretly, they're in a Nine of Swords energy. Why are they secretly in a Nine of Swords? You could be the one in the Nine of Swords. Sagittarius is here. About the Magician and the Queen of Wands. Gemini's here and Leo's here. So, secretly, <clears throat> they were concerned about what was being manifested with the Queen of Wands. So, maybe you were this person's wife, the Queen of Pentacles. You could have been their wife. You could have been a mother. And you were up all night because you were like, this person sure is getting close to my husband <laughs> or the person that I'm dating. Why is the magician here? They were manifesting this even like they wanted this bad and they were determined to have it. To put everything in place to make it happen. I think somebody was trying to take your husband or the person. Death. The Magician is about movement. Gemini is here, the lovers, and transformation, death. Hmm. Somebody was trying to make a move that would change your situation. All right. You were trying to be level-headed about it and be a mediator between both sides. What did they want to change about this lover? Ooh, the Two of Wands is here, the Hanged Man is here, and the High Priestess is here. So intuitively, they felt like this person was stuck and at a crossroads when it came to these two women, to Sagittarius and the Leo. What was being shown? What were they showing these two women? It could be a Pisces or a Gemini, Sagittarius or Leo, or all of the above. What was it they were showing these two women? Planetary alignments are here. What were they showing these two women? What were they putting off to these two women? Two of Cups. That they didn't want a relationship. Maybe with either one of you. What was the truth? That they wanted to be friends. They have a lot of memories with both of you. And they just want to be friends. Okay. And what's going to happen next? The Nine of Pentacles, somebody's going to be independent. The Queen of Swords, they're going to set good boundaries with the Knight of Cups. So, they're going to have their independence and they're going to be like, the Queen of Swords could be Gemini for sure. There's, it's like there's a Gemini that's going to be like, you know what, don't bring that love here. Why don't they want that love? Because of a heavy burden. A new cup of love. Oh, a spark. And codependency. This person's in love and very attractive. But they feel like this would be a heavy burden and they feel like there would be codependency. King of Swords in reverse. What's the truth? What's the truth? That you're not wanting to take this love? 
it's causing this person to reevaluate their behavior and to heal from it. So apparently you've talked to this person about their behavior with this other person. And you feel like this would be too much anxiety. You'd feel like a prisoner. What's going to be the outcome of the Leo? They're working on rebuilding their life after a painful ending, a burdensome ending, and they're looking for a new opportunity. What's going to happen to the Sagittarius? They've also, they've lost their, their money. They hurt, they, they lost their job, it looks like, when they quit their job. And they're thinking about no longer being friends with this person. The Empress in Reverse. What's going to happen to the King of Swords or the Knight of Cups, the Gemini? They have a really small offer, like a text message. And I think they're going to open up communication. What would the Leo say here? I don't even like to text, but I'll text you all day long. About what? Did you block me? My calls are going to voicemail. Okay. What would the Gemini say? Why don't you ever respond to my text in a reasonable time? How are you? We haven't talked in forever. I just fell asleep on the phone. My feelings are on E. And where have you been my whole life? What would this Sagittarius say? You're a fucking asshole. I love when you fall asleep on the phone with me. And I wish I would have talked to you when I had the opportunity. Alright. Well, you have the opportunity now. What would you say? They told me you were full of it, and it's late, really late. Why aren't you here next to me? I love the way you love me. So, it looks like the Sagittarius is in love. And it looks like it's over between the Leo. And the Gemini is like, you never, you never respond to me when I text you. Why not? Not reasonably. And we haven't talked much. When we do talk... One of us falls asleep. My feelings are on E. And, but where have you been my whole life? Let's find out secretly what they might say here. Show me how this happened with the Leo. What happened with the Leo? I think it was you were either with a Sagittarius or a Gemini or both. <coughs> your friends miss your face, Leo. What about the Gemini? What happened with the Gemini? Or what's going on with the Gemini? Love can hurt like hell. It was time for shit to get real. Nobody would listen to you. And you're asking yourself, do you really love them? Alright, what about the Sagittarius? You're, you're stressed and you need to go all in or get out. With deal with your drama, exes, old hurts, and unresolved shit. You think you have them all figured out, but you don't. What else is going on with Leo? They want you to shut the fuck up and cook a fucking meal with do the damn dishes. So that was probably the one that you were married to. Either Sagittarius or Gemini was married to. Somehow you all ended up together in a situation where you were supposed to be together. Alright, now let's see what happened to Leo. Show me what happened to Leo here. Uh oh, card in the wrong deck. Somebody was reevaluating this. It was about dreams coming true. Oh, I have the wrong deck. That's the problem. You wanted to be alone. Somebody was stalking. You were fighting it. Divinely guided. There was a love triangle. Okay, I think I got them all out now. I'm going to put these up. In order to find out from the breakup deck. 
I think we already found out. Well, let's find out again. What happened to the Leah here? Make them prove it. it's your choice. What is your choice? I want you to prove to me who you're choosing here. There's three of us. Who do you choose? Make me, make me realize who you're choosing. Your choice to have a commitment, Leo says. If you want a commitment, prove it. Prove that you love me. A desire to win and no commitment. So if somebody wants to look better, be better, and get someone hotter, and they have no commitment. All right, what's going on? How did this end with the Leo? This was friendship. All right, what about the Gemini? It ended because of friendship, Leo. There was competition. Somebody wouldn't change, and you couldn't heal from this. You couldn't get over this. Your feelings about this third party wouldn't change. Why is friendship here for Leo? It ended because of a friendship. Somebody felt desperate because of a divine union, and it was all in their head. So, somebody had a friend that was a divine union, and you felt desperate, and this was all in your head. What's, the, what's going on with Sagittarius? Sagittarius is not jealous, but they've been waiting a long time. What are they going to do about that waiting? Somebody could be jealous of them. They're going to realize it's not the right time, I miss you, and this was unintentional. What was unintentional? Wanting this friend's support. So this friend was the Sagittarius Leo. And it turned out to be a divine union. What's going to be the outcome of the divine union? Practice forgiving them. Make them prove it. And partying. <clears throat> so. You're not going to make them prove it. You're not going to forgive them. And there's going to be partying. Outcome of the partying. A reconciliation. Clarify the reconciliation. Somebody has a desire to win and they're not focusing on themselves. They're focusing on getting someone hotter. And what might that look like? They're going to learn their lesson. What lesson are they going to learn? That they can trust the plan that they don't have to have a lot of differences. They don't have to live a double life and they can have a job. Somebody's not for you. Okay. All right, now show me what happened with the Leo. Leo, you got separated and you found out the truth about an offer. All right. What happened to Sagittarius? You got strong, empowered by the sun, and you have strength. What happened to the Gemini? Gemini, you're going to have a wish fulfillment when it comes to solid foundation. All right, what's going to happen to the divine union? You're going to make a decision when it comes to not changing. What decision are they going to make? Your dreams are here. Not having any compassion and spying since last fall. Well, what do they want to do about this relationship? They have too much ego right now. They still have Leo, the third party, I think, or Sagittarius. And they need to express their truth about this divine union. And will they? What will they say? They're going to be guarded. What's the Sagittarius going to do? The Sagittarius is awakening <clears throat> that there's not going to be... They can't get over this. They realize that somebody's wearing a facade about their beliefs and they have a lot of doubt and a lot of suffering in the past. What's the Leo going to do? Be open to receive. Divine Masculine is here. How does Divine Masculine feel about Leo? They're healing. They're having the courage to take action. They have a very hot attraction. And they're romanticizing. What do you mean they're romanticizing? They're coming out of denial. What do you mean coming out of denial? 
about how toxic this relationship was and how their higher self is telling them, you were clinging to your north node in this relationship. So what is Divine Masculine going to do about Sagittarius? Realize that this is Divine Feminine. And what's going to be the outcome there? They're going to have communication about travel and chemistry. And their self-worth, not having expectations on their self-worth. Alright, why is Divine Masculine here? Because of them purging. They've been crying because of being separated. What about Divine Feminine? What's going on with her? Or they've been crying about separation from somebody. The 5D is here. Why is the 5D with Divine Feminine? Because of them being abandoned. What's connecting these two? Somebody didn't understand. Didn't understand what? That there was a third party. So what are they going to do about it? They're going to go in a new direction toward their, their big dreams. And the outcome of doing that. They're going to have no patience. And they're going to recognize something. What are they recognizing? That in the winter, they needed to surrender and it caused destruction. Clarify the destruction. Whatever it was, they were unawakened and it helped them to deal with their ego. Outcome now. They're going to be devoted and return to Divine Feminine. Alrighty then, Divine Feminine. It looks like the masculine is coming back to you. Let's see what's going on with your all's money. What's going on with Divine Masculine's money? The office is here with the Phoenix Rising. What's going on with Divine Feminine's money? May I see, please? Money for D Divine Feminine? Alright, Divine Feminine. So there's something here about science. Your stability is going to be here. Being a perfectionist. Taking off and planning something. What is Divine Feminine planning? She's planning on having growth because of her parenthood. Clarify the growth in parenthood. What's going to be the outcome? Going to the next level. Having options. Manifesting. And something temporary. Outcome of manifesting something temporary. You're going to go slow, but you're a writer, and you need to be cautious. Why should they be cautious? Because you're going to make peace, you have a gift, and you're a rebel. What about Divine Masculine? That sounds like Divine Feminine. Lust came out. There's lust, Divine Masculine. What's the money in here? You might be buying porn or something like that. Your home is here. You've made mistakes. You're going to get on the right path. You're going to manage your money. You're going to be a rescuer. And you're going to be self-made. Outcome of the two. You're going to work on this mechanic. You're going to have a loss. You're activating new gifts with your social media. And you're exploring. Outcome of exploring. You're going to have justice. And your emotions are here. Outcome of justice. The setbacks, the conflict, taking a risk in your health. Outcome of health, you're going to have a strategy. And what might that look like? It looks like your business is here, your phoenix rising, and a counselor is here with the office. What's going to be the outcome of counselor? Charity. You're going to work for a nonprofit. What else? Spell work. You're going to have luck, and you're going to share. Share what? You're going to have a celebration. There's going to be a shift where you were at a crossroads, and you were a workaholic. What you're going to do now, you're going to have transportation, be persistent. In divine time, you're going to help people grow up. You might work with children. One more time, I'm hearing you're going to be comfortable. Outcome of spell work. A crafter, something unseen, a laborer, and happiness. What's unseen? A 
legacy, angelic help, your soul tribe, and somebody helping you to change. Clarify to change. I know I'm getting a lot of cards. I'm sorry. You're going to start something new. It involves an entertainer using their voice and somebody beautiful with a surprise. Clarify the surprise. You're going to get justice and recognition with making an investment on the bottom of the deck. All right. That's a lot going on with your money. Sorry if I went too far with that. I think everybody got a little something out of it, though. We're fixing the clothes here. Divine Masculine, you had lust. <laughs> Maybe you're going to do something in the porn industry. I don't know. Or maybe you just have a lot of desire for this Divine Feminine. <clears throat> but you have a Leo over there that you're still talking to or living with or married to or something that has to be dealt with. Okay? And you might be able to work that out. It looked like they wanted to work it out, but it didn't look like you wanted to work it out. It looked like you were ready to move on to this new person. But we shall see. We shall see. Who knows? Alright, I want to pull one more thing for you guys. Give me just a minute. I'm sorry about having to clean up, but it's a lot of energy on the table here. And I don't want to pull any of that energy into your guidance. If you understand what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. It looks like you got two people here. One of them, you're, you're in a love triangle for sure. And you're trying to figure out what to do about this. And it involves work. You could have met each other at work. Or you could have all been working together for a common goal. And you caught feelings and maybe even slept with this person. And the person you were with or married to found out about it. And they're not super super angry anymore but they're it's like they've already forgiven you for this but there's it's still in their energy very strongly this could have happened a long time ago and the three of you are still trying to be friends and that's hard especially if you don't trust somebody and it didn't look like there was a lot of trust I don't think either one of these people trust this Divine Masculine. Reverse any roles you want to. But somebody here has been a fucking asshole. Is what the Sagittarius said. Alright, I do like these cards. And I think that they're very deep. I didn't read them as deeply as I could have. But these are cards about coming out of a dark situation. And it looks like you are. You're going to have faith, though. Gentleness, perseverance, integrity. And you're going to work on your money. And we saw that you were going to have some success with your money. So, don't give up. Alright, now, I want to give you some guidance. Let's see what your higher self would say about all this. What would the Leo's higher self say, Spirit? There's going to be a change. And there's a lot of confusion. Leo's higher self spirit. Or whoever that person was. They could have just been dealing with a Leo or having a Leo placement. I'm just calling them that for simplicity. What would this person, Leo, say? Divine timing. What about the Gemini? This has got to be on pause while I go with the flow. <laughs> so they want to break up so they can move on to something new. Alright, what about the Sagittarius' higher self? What would they say? Stay in the light. Use your integrity. Why is divine timing here for Leo? Higher self. Why is divine time in here for Leo? <clears throat> because you need to expect the unexpected. 
All right, why is the light here for Sagittarius? Because of your happiness and a transformation. And why is Gemini going with the flow? And taking a pause, like they broke it off with somebody or they stopped something. Perseverance is on the bottom of the deck. Forgiveness. You're not alone, and it's time to take the first step. All right, now let's see what these people would say secretly. Secretly, what would this Leo say secretly to the Gemini? I trusted you. What would the Gemini say to them? I feel drawn to you. What would the Sagittarius say to the Gemini? I miss seeing you. I want to make amends. I want you back. But I can't do this. And I don't know. I don't want to know. They don't want to know. They can't do this. I want you back. I want to make amends, and I miss seeing you, but I don't want to know. What do you not want to know? Whether or not you need security. So they're afraid that you just want to be with them for the money. What's the truth from Gemini about the money? It's Sagittarius. I have too much to lose, and I can't be with you. So you can't be with the Sagittarius. All right, what's going to happen with the Leo? I don't want to let you go, and I can't get enough of you. So Gemini is going to stay with the Leo, and the Sagittarius is going to be alone. I think they may have cheated with one of these people, and I am recovering in reverse. So somebody's not able to get over this. All right, let's see real quick if we can find out how this happened. Tell me how this happened, please. Between these three people. You had to agree to fucking disagree. What was going on in secret? Love the one you're with, and we can't be all things. Alright, what's going on in the open? Somebody's trying to listen and just walk away. And what's going to happen next? So, Gemini, you could be married to Sagittarius and wanting to leave them for the Leo. It's time for shit to get real. You're not being heard. Remember, somebody's not listening. And do you really love them? So, you don't know which one of these people you love, but you have too much to lose when it comes to one of them. Love can hurt like hell, and you're fucking stressed. No wonder you're fucking stressed. You have two women... And it totally looks like you might be having feelings for both of them. Truly, truly, why can't they be with the Sagittarius? Because fuck feelings, you have logic for a reason. What are their feelings? Forgive. Why are you forgiving the Sagittarius? Because it isn't personal and when I open my mouth. Open your mouth about what? You're going to talk to them about something. That somebody's doing too many chores. So you were talking to the Sagittarius about your relationship with the Leo. And they felt bad for you because they thought you wanted to break it off. And it looks like you all had an affair and now you want to stay with the Leo. How does the Leo feel about the affair? Love the one you're with. You're not being heard. Do you really love them? You're fucking stressed. So, you're the one that's not sure anymore. Let's see. One more thing and then we'll close. I want to find out if there's anybody new. Is there anybody new with their eye on the Leo? The Hermit, Virgo's here. Six of Wands is here. 
Oh my God, Leo. Somebody has been soul searching about how much they recognize you and want to have it all with you. This person has all ten pinnacles. Like, they want you bad. <laughs> Alright, what about the Gemini? Anybody new? Whoa. You've just been fighting. You've been fighting. Whoever it is, you've been fighting and deceiving this person. Right, how did Gemini feel about them? There is somebody new, but you've heard them. You have you to defend yourself. Why? Why are they defending themselves? Oh my God. Because of that Leo. The relationship with the Leo. And moving on. You're trying to figure out how to move on from the Leo. And what about somebody new for Sagittarius? Sagittarius, you're here with somebody who has got good, fond memories of you. What might be the outcome of that? You're going to have a, a sudden movement forward. What are you moving towards? You might even move. Oh, a very honest relationship. The truth. What is the truth? There's the King of Cups. Who's trying, they're at a crossroads. What are they leaning towards? The lovers. What are their, what is their choice, their decision? They feel like there's hope, but why is the hope in reverse? Because of something ending. What's the truth? The magician is here. What are you manifesting, Sagittarius? You're manifesting something. Healing and the outcome of that. You're going to see the truth. What is the truth? That there's too much partying. Any new love interest, though? Unhappiness? Why are you trying to get happy here? You have a dog. Sunflowers are here. You got hurt because of a third party. Somebody that was married. You were in love with them, and they stabbed you in the heart three times, and now this is over. So, yeah, you got hurt, and it's over. I mean, it is over. What's the secrets of Leo's heart, Spirit? Hand me cards, keep the one on the floor, Leo. Leo, your, your harmony and friendship showed up. What about Gemini? Gemini, you're having an epiphany that you want to have a new beginning. How might that work out? It's going to be an emotional time for you. Alright, what about Sagittarius? Sagittarius, you're exhausted. Outcome of exhaustion. You're going to take care of yourself, have self-care, and it's going to be only you for a while. You're going to be single. Alright, outcome of the Leo's harmony. you got somebody that really wants to be with you, Leo. You're going to clash with the person. What's going to be the outcome of Gemini? Gemini, you're a divine masculine. And you're going to be receptive to apologizing to somebody for thinking that it was just a fantasy. And how might they take the apology? They're going to say, yeah, I know it's a spiritual connection. And I knew that you felt like this was an illusion. And Sagittarius spirit. Sagittarius, you have a resentment because of the loss. You were rejected, and pride is here. You're better off. You feel better off. Outcome of this friendship between these three. Nobody wants it anymore. They want distance between the three of you. Somebody's secretly admiring one of you from a fake account. And we see Leo has a rich person, a very wealthy person that wants to be with him. How will Leo receive that person? You don't know. You're conflicted right now about rejection. Maybe you're afraid of being rejection. rejected. Sorry. Let's see what this person would secretly say to you. The one who 
is hiding their feelings and watching you. What would they secretly say to you? They're wealthy for sure. I miss being with you. So you know this person. Anything else they would say? I'm not financially stable. They have money though. Or they feel like this relationship could go all the way. Maybe they feel like you have money. What does Leo want to say? I still have feelings for you also. Alright. I still feel the pain. So this person could have hurt you in the past. What would Gemini say about this? I admire you and I'm in a committed relationship. <laughs> so... And what would Sagittarius say about it? I don't know how to feel about it. They don't care. They wonder how you feel about them. How do you feel about them, Leo? I can be myself with you and I compare others to you. With, I'm waiting patiently. And maybe you're all going to see each other somehow. Alright, let's see how you can love yourself. How can we love who we are while we wait for all of this to happen or to heal from all of this? How can we love who we are? Unfurl a new beginning and court the too good to be true with float like you mean it. Let's see what that means. Unfurl a new beginning, number eight. What is death to the caterpillar is new life for the moth. A chance to spread its wings and dance with the sky. Don't spend your time on regret. Now is the moment that you're being given an opportunity to begin something new. Embrace it. Beginnings have magic and power and build boldness wrapped inside them. And wings unfurl your hope and let this new beginning take you skyward number 35 this is a beautiful deck of cards I absolutely adore it court the good the too good to be true you will be warned from all kinds of sources, almost all the time, about things that seem too good to be true to you. Here is the moment you're being invited to consider all the things in your life that are too good to be true. Appreciate them. Adore them. Invite them. Invite more of them into your life. What is the most true and beautiful vision you can conceive of your life? What goals? Your relationship? What feels most authentic? Thoughts become things. So put your thoughts in the most beautiful vision of your life. What you deserve it, sweet pea. And then 41, float like you mean it. Float like you mean it. Float, flow, let it all happen. No feeling is permanent and no circumstance is forever. Like the ocean, our reality and our feelings about it are constantly in motion. Now is the time to ride those waves and let it all be. Remember, ships don't sink because of the water around them. Ships sink because of the water that gets inside them. Don't let what's happening around you get inside and weigh you down. So something's happened that could weigh you down, but don't let it. Because that's how ships get sunk. Just float like you mean it. Alright, one card please. Oh, dear. Come on, man. Come on, baby. One card please for this reason. One card please. One, please. <laughs> One card, please, for this reading. One. May I have one card, please? That'll go perfectly with this reading. Okay, these two. Okay. Perfect. Alright, we have Medicine Wisdom. We've had that before. Number 28. Wrong book. 
Right card, wrong book. All right. Number 28, Medicine Wizard. The Earth Mother agrees to support your wants and needs to help you live your best life and fulfill your dreams. Her generosity and her power to assist you is beyond what you can imagine. She is already leading you toward your sacred life purpose, providing exactly what is needed for your seed to blossom. Just as she creates what is needed for the flowers of the, of the earth to bloom. This is confirmation that you are on your sacred path. It may take some twists and turns, but you are headed in the right direction. And you are being, you are being supported in all ways to gain all the experience and blessings that are meant for you. You're a wild woman. You have a spiritual gift of medicine wisdom. The healing way of the sacred feminine, the soul wisdom and healing ability comes from Mother Nature. Her season and weather let landscapes and the particular life that they support, including animals, plants, and crystals. Um, sorry. All have their own unique purpose and healing power. Learning to recognize the signs, to feel for their meaning, to listen with, with, for guidance and activate the medicine wisdom in yourself and your life in your training as a true medicine woman of the soul. Listening and intuiting, feeling, expecting, experiencing, trusting. These are the ways that you begin to tap into Sorry. And um, harness the grace, beauty, and power of the sacred feminine for healing purposes. When you live your life from a place of playful connection, reverence, and gratitude for the divine feminine, she will love and empower you to accomplish things that you could not do on your own. She is infinitely practical and divine able to help you with every aspect of your life. Remember, chop wood on earth and through you to help others too. She is asking you to trust her, to let go of logic, of believing that you have to accomplish it all in, on your own. Let yourself be a creative partner with the Divine Feminine, with Mother Nature, and with your earthly cares and pro will be provided for with ease and grace so you can dedicate your energy and focus on discovering and expressing your talents, which is how you fulfill your life purpose. Place a hand on your head and say aloud, I accept my calling as a true medicine woman of the soul supported on all levels by the powerful grace of the Divine Feminine. I trust that Mother Nature is speaking to me daily, showing me the way to fulfill happiness and peace for myself and all beings. I hope you understood that. <laughs> Moon Child number seven. For some reason, I was having a hard time reading it. Moon Child to be there for you, but I'm going to read Moonshot first. You have an opportunity to manifest something that you want very much. The Divine wants to bless you with assistance to bring a cherished dream to life. Begin by admitting the true desires of your heart. Then you will need to let go of control as you trust enough to let it happen. You'll know when you're really doing this because you'll find a, that you're scared at first. You'll wonder if it's okay to surrender quite so much. It is. Ask for what you want and need without any hesitation or shame, guilt, and limitation. Then relax and allow the universe to do its thing. Number four, be there for you. It's time to let yourself off the hook. 
Don't interpret the behavior of other people or circumstances outside of your control to indicate something negative about you. Forgive yourself for anything you feel you have done wrong. You can learn from your change your choices more easily if you stop punishing yourself whenever you feel that you've made a mistake. Even the decisions that we regret help us grow. And when we swap judgment for compassion, sometimes we can only learn what we need to know by what didn't work out so well at the time. You have an open, sensitive, beautiful heart. Sometimes the world cannot meet that heart of yours on equal terms. Sometimes the hearts of others are just too closed and afraid. That's okay because it's part of why we were born, to help heal and open the hearts of the world. You are wise and you know your purpose is to shine the beauty of your divine heart freely for all to experience. You never have to close down or turn away from the sacred purpose in this from your sacred purpose in this world but you do discover i mean but you do deserve to be safeguarded and protected know that you have your own back when fearful angry people lash out in pain say crying trying to hurt others because they cannot get past their own heart do not make it about you your heart knows how to love you and protect you while it has compassion for the, for the suffering that another may be feeling. Remember that you must be there for yourself, nurturing your own heart with plenty of love. Give to yourself just as you give to the world with kindness and generosity. Don't allow anyone or anything to make you forget what is, what is real and true. The wisdom and love that fills your heart and helps heal the world. I'm so sorry I'm having so much trouble reading those. I don't know what's going on. Oh, help me spirit. Help me spirit. Maybe I read them slow so you could absorb them. You may have been listening. If not, I apologize. I've been asked to pull these cards just to see what comes out. Weight and support. Talk to me about what's going on with this Leo vibe over here. I see we have a Leo vibe over here. We have a Sagittarius vibe and we have a Gemini vibe. And I do know that some of the people who watch this channel do deal with those signs on a regular basis. And I want to find out what might be going on. This deck gives me a little bit more clarity. I'm sorry about having to put cards away, but it just gets to be too, too, too much. And they start falling in the floor and getting lost and getting mixed up. All right. Now, let's see what's going on with the, what's, what's going on with the Leo over here. What's the deal with the Leo? There we go. The Leo has the apology. You can expect the apology you want to hear. You may need to apologize or somebody may need to apologize to you. And it looks like they may need to apologize to you. Alright, what's going on with the Gemini? They have regret. And what's going on with the Sagittarius? Sagittarius is healing. They have chemistry with someone and they're having to wait. Remember the person that was waiting? I think they're at the end of their waiting, though. All right, talk to me about the apology. Why the apology? Whoa, Leo, the cards keep going on the floor. It has to do with something strictly sexual. All right, what about regret for Gemini? Why do they have a regret? They might have to apologize to you for having sex with Sagittarius. 
Warning, Gemini. Go slow. Here and now, put away the computer and use your intuition. So, regret. I'm warning you, you need to go slow right now. Put away your computer and use your intuition. All right, what about Sagittarius? What's the deal with Sagittarius? Why are they even here? Because of being trusted and having obstacles. What's going to be the outcome of Leo? Leo, you had an addiction. You have to make a decision about playing hard, using self-care, and being married. All right, what about Gemini? Gemini, you're longing. You have children and a new love. All right, what about Sagittarius? Sagittarius, you're going to have abundance, baby. And acceptance. Different pages. Past life love. What's going to happen with the new love for Gemini? You're going to have boundaries. And integrity. What else? You're awakening to being released. Alright, why? Because you want to have a second chance in a friendship. Clarify the second chance you want to have. Somebody you've been on different pages with. Patience is here. Backing away and getting this balance for a friendship. Outcome of this balance. Somebody's going to interfere. Why are they interfering in such a beautiful relationship? Because of finances and forgiveness. So it has to do with you and Leo. And I think Sagittarius is the twin flame. Why is Sagittarius is here? They're having to have acceptance. That it's fate. And that they be vulnerable. True love is here. Obsession and past life love. Why should they open up and be vulnerable? Because of the past life love. The soulmate is on the bottom of the deck. Clarify what you mean. You're unavailable. Why? Why are they unavailable? Because of your stability. You've mastered a spiritual lesson. Your passion and true love. With twin flame. Take a leap of faith. Alright, so we do have a twin flame situation here. Let's see what your best friends would say. What would Leo's best friend say? Leo, what would your best friend say? Pay attention to the details. You're worth more. What would Gemini's best friend say? Focus on progress, not perfection. And press pause. Remember pause? What about Sagittarius, his best friend? Take a snack break and do the hard thing first. Do the hard thing first, but take a snack break. <laughs> you got something hard you have to deal with. All right, let's see how the angels are working in your lives. Angels, how are you working in Leo's life? You're feeling the vibes. You're awakening. Surrendering, resurrecting, and your vision. What about Gemini? Gemini, you have powerful knowledge. What about Sagittarius? Sagittarius, you have wisdom, freedom, and your thoughts are here. With healing on the bottom of the deck. Anything else for any of these? Somebody's going to show you grace. You're going to have a, di a divine plan, and somebody's going to spy on you. You're going to have a lot of blessings also. Let's see what kind of healing you all need. What kind of healing does Gemini need, Spirit? You need to have faith. Remember faith? How teachable are you in rejection? What about Sagittarius? Sagittarius, take off your mask. What about Leo? Leo, you need healing in your family and tribe and to let go 
and don't play the victim with sexuality on the bottom of the deck. So you all need sexual healing. Sexual healing. Remember that old Marvin Gaye song? <laughs> Alright, there was one more thing I wanted to give you before we close. Da 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 Oh, instant magic oracle. Thank you, Spirit. Instant magic oracle. May I please have a message for the sign of Leo? Full moon ritual. And we do have two full moons this month. And happy birthday, by the way, Leo. Make your wishes come true with the following full moon ritual. You need a magnet, seven cloves, a yellow envelope, or a piece of fabric or paper for wrapping. On the next full moon, go outside and lay your magnet surrounded by the cloves. Look up at the moon and make your wish. Bring, them, bring these items in before sunrise and wrap them in a yellow cloth or paper. As you wrap them, focus on your wish magnetizing towards you. Carry the magnetized vessel with you before the next moon cycle and your wish should come true before the next full moon. Alright, so you need to do a moon ritual and I have done that and it does work. Alright, Gemini here, what message do you have for Gemini? Woo. It's time for a phone cleanse, Gemini. You may have had a negative phone call. Something on social media may have triggered you or maybe received a call or a message has upset you or perhaps you have a phone addiction and can't stop scrolling. Remember, put away the computer. Turn your phone off and hold your phone in your hands and repeat these words three times. Negative energy from this device. I banish thee with pure white light. Phone calls and messages sent in spite. Restore and reboot. I thrive. Surround this phone in beams of protection. So that I have will a good connection. So that I have a will I have and will have a good connection. Dang. The f then close your eyes and visualize a cleansing and purifying white light beaming out of your hands and surrounding your phone. You can turn your phone back on knowing that it is back to its spiritually reset position. Alright, now, we could all do that, couldn't we? Sagittarius, what would your spirit guide say to you out of this book? It's time to air your opinions. It's time for you to open your mouth and talk about how you feel. Talk about your opinions. Air your opinions. Let them out. Stop holding them in and letting them eat your lunch. Alright. What would your best friend say, Leo? Have we already done this? Let's do it again. What would your, all of your, what would all of your best friends say at once? Celebrate your success. You ain't got time for that. And I know that's right. I think we had already done that. Anyway, I guess we'll stop there. I feel like I'm missing a piece to this puzzle. <laughs> as usual and maybe you feel that way sometimes i feel how you feel you may feel like you've just completely missed this whole situation and you may have because you should never be in a you know a third party oh i know what i'm missing let's get some oracle cards for you all oracle for for uh, leo leo <coughs> you've been grieving a loss and there's a commitment here all right Gemini oh that flew out Gemini you're gonna have justice and Sagittarius oh. Sagittarius you're gonna get clarity and you're a divine feminine what's the justice about animals 
and home. Animals and home. Alright, what's the commitment about for Leo? Someone you can trust and who will empower you. And why are you getting clarity, Divine Feminine? Because of your talent and your strength. And then something that's going to lighten your load. Clarify lighten your load. You're going to have a friendship. You're going to get answers. And you're going to get healing. What's going to be the outcome of home for Gemini? You're going to have love and a transformation in your home. Beautiful. With truth on the bottom of the deck and inspiration. Now I feel like I'm getting close to the end of this message. Alright, let's see what Sacred Destiny would say to Leo. Wisdom. How about Gemini? The truth. And how about Sagittarius? Purification. Why purification? Because going forward, you're going to have relaxation and happiness. Why truth for Gemini? Whoa, that flew out. Because of forgiveness, Gemini. And success. Alright. Why wisdom for Leo? These cards are flying out. Why wisdom for Leo? There we go. Because it's going to be powerful. What is it going to end in? It's going to end in stillness and transformation. And blessings. Beautiful, Leo. I love that for you. And somebody's going to be released. Oh, card stuck in the box alert. Leadership. Somebody here is going to be in leadership. Clarify the leadership card. Miracles. You're going to have miracles that are going to put you in leadership. And somebody's going to take action. Oh, I love it. If you're watching this and you are and you have it in your mind to do so, please share my content. Oh, and by the way, you'll never guess who my daughter's working for. She came home the other day and started packing her stuff and said, I'm moving out. I'm moving to Greenville. And it was like, why are you moving to Greenville? I don't have time to talk right now. I'm trying to get moved. I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving. I was like, okay, you're moving, but can you tell me where so I can come and visit you? She said, well, it's supposed to be a secret, but I'm working for Mr. Beast now in Greenville, and I'm having to move to Greenville because of Mr. Beast, <laughs> or whatever. And I was like, who's Mr. Beast? And she said, Mom, you don't know who Mr. Beast is? And I said, no. She said, well, Google it. And I did. And this guy makes like $45 million a month on YouTube. <laughs> If you've never heard of him, check him out. Um, he's pretty funny. He's pretty handsome. And he's about my daughter's age. So, who knows? She likes working for him, though. She loves it. Um, she used to do the cameras at ECU and film all the ball games. But now she's met this guy and somehow got involved with working for him. So, I'm extremely proud of her. And I'm proud of him for all of his success. And I hope that my daughter will go far in his company. I really do. Let's look at it. What might be the outcome of my daughter's success with Mr. Beast? They're working on something top secret right now. You're going to use your voice. You're going to have a soul tribe. You're going to start something new. You're going to work with an entertainer. And you're going to be a helper. Angelic help. Financial outcome. Where you've made mistakes when it comes to your home, somebody's going to make an investment. Outcome of mistakes. There's something you can't see about crafting your comfort. Outcome of investment. You're going to the next level. You're going to have options. Clarify the options. Oh, wow. You're going to have recognition. You're going to make a shift. Something scientific, and you're going to take off, baby girl. Justice. Where are you going with all this recognition? This is your life purpose, and Gaia is here. Clarify Gaia. That's the justice. You're beautiful. You have angelic help. You're going to have happiness. 
in your work. I love it, beautiful girl. I love it. And you're going to be able to leave a legacy. Beautiful. Congratulations to my daughter for working for Mr. Beast. All right, let's pull some dice. P P F H N G H number two. D F G L N J N number one. K E N K P P O L. D N A. M H I eleven H E O V N L W J eight. One more time. V V M N W E E four. All right. May I have trinkets, please? Very different reading. I have a key, I have a squid, and I have a bear. So proud of all my children. They're all doing magnificent. My youngest daughter, her boyfriend's going to school to be a pilot. My oldest daughter is a teacher, 22 years old, owns her own rental property. And she's dating a young man who's a supervisor or um, foreman or whatever in construction. Alright, I have every journey begins with a single step. Skull. Another skull. Somehow skulls are significant. I have a unicorn. I think that was a snake. Yeah, a snake. A butterfly, a leaf for the fall, the letter K, and a piece of selenite. And a feather. Alright, you guys, be blessed, and I'll be back later with another rating. I love you to pieces. Let me know if you enjoyed this by giving it a thumbs up. Share it. Share the content. And also comment on it and let me know what you think. Take care now. Bye-bye.